Sky Prophet, baby. Back with another video. Spirit told me bring this one. And I'll bring y'all one later. One or two later. So. You know that. God is in every cell of your body. You understand that God is walking with you at all times. You understand that you create through your intentions. Now, when I say your intentions, that is listening to your higher self, listening to your higher self. You create through your intentions. You create regardless. But we just on positives, man. So you create through your intentions. What is intentions? It's energy, right? God, spirit, source, creator, most high. The energy bank, that's who own it. That's who own it. That's who own creation. All right? We summon it up. You got that soul. You an extension of the creator. You an extension of the creator. Therefore, you co-creating down here. You co-creating down here on this earth. And spirit making sure that I put this where everybody can understand it. Because spirit don't need individuals forgetting things that they know. What God is bringing individuals around the understanding is the power of change that they hold within themselves. The power to reconsider and understand what choice is the right choice. See, when you talk about lifetimes and past lives and all of this, this is all merely tests of energy see you in this reality so you just think you're living life you know it's just living life to you but that's the only way that everything can be taken from you where you got to understand that this is not living life we all have to circle back around to that it's nobody that that's not meant to we all have to circle back around to that. Life as I knew it is not real life. And allow source to show you what real life is. See, you're not moving. You're not thinking. You're not taking action. You're not wanting. You don't have desires. You're not doing none of those things without energy. You're not doing none of those things without energy. Who own the energy bank? God, source, spirit, creator, the most high. One and only. One and only. Okay? But you are God walking on this earth, walking on this planet. You are and you don't have to take one piece off of yourself. You don't have to shy away from saying it in front of individuals. You don't have to try to make yourself convince yourself that that's what you are or that's what you're not. You that whether you want to be or not. You that whether you perform like you know it or not. You that whether you show love 
or not. It's your free will. It's your free will of respect and integrity. Respect and integrity. Think about them two words right there. Just think about them two words right there. If you can incorporate them two words in everything, everything else works out. The love is there. The looking out is there. The loyalty is there. Everything else is there. You have to have that about yourself. Love comes in many different forms, many different words, many different ways. So does God. So does God. This is a God talking to a God. For God. You have to put down all the stereotypes that you knew. You have to put down that book that you had in your mind as far as how you thought things were. You have way more control than you think you have. You have the choice to take on any thought. God is not even coming and making you choose nothing. Source ain't coming making you choose nothing. Spirit ain't coming making you choose nothing. The creator, the most high, is never going to come and make you choose nothing. You have free choice. That's what the test is on this planet. It's an individual's ability to find God for themselves. But I want you to understand this. And it's always been like that. It's just understood on a better note now that I'm about to say it. Every time you have to look for God, what's the very first thing that you have to do? What's the very first thing you have to do? You have to go within yourself. You have to go within yourself. And 10 out of 10, you always find them. Always find them. Why? It's because you be walking and don't realize that's what you are. That's who you are. That's what is inside of you. That's what your, 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 your whole chemical makeup and being to you is. This is a vessel, but it's still meant to shine. Bright as the brightest light that you ever seen. Check out Isaiah. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. That bright light, that shit is a real thing. That's what you are. That's what you are. You the only reason that love exists within you. I'm going to repeat that. Because some of y'all think y'all don't love. Some of y'all think y'all not love. Some of y'all think love is impossible. Some of y'all think love not there. The only reason that love exists is because each one of y'all have it inside of you. It's because of you. Only because of you. And I say that because who makes the choice to love? Sure, God, soul, spirit, creator, most high, pure love, unconditional love. But on this planet, answer this question. Do you have to show love or not? It's your choice. It's your choice to remember who you are. When you're not, you just hadn't got around to remembering who you are. Should you beat yourself up? I, I don't think so. Should you be worried? I don't think so. Should you be confused? You probably will be. 
until you can come around the understanding. When prophets say, forget those things that you knew, you have to. It's vital to the way you think. It's vital to your programming. It just is. It just is, because as long as you think he's going to shoot you, you're not getting out the car. You're not. I can't walk on this earth. Not only for individuals to understand that God is real. I came to bring some additional information to y'all. But my main message is it's one God. It's one God only. And you not need not attach nothing negative to it. No negative story. You need, you need not. No darkness, no demon. You need not apply none of that to God. And the next thing I'm going to tell you, it should be a big piece of your puzzle, but I, I mean, I done repeated it, but I guess it, it goes right here. When you hear fallen angel, when you hear Lucifer, when you hear Satan, that's a test. Let me ask you this. How many... How many Satan's Lucifer? You ain't never ran across none of them, huh? You ain't, as bad as it is he's supposed to be, you never ran across that on the planet. Yeah, people did messed up shit. Yes, indeed, man. Yeah, yeah. But you never ran across that. Because you would fear it. You don't fear it. You just fear certain things in certain situations with certain individuals that's because those individuals not operating out of their true self they're not operating in their true character the fear actually is not fear the fear actually is you seeing through the face of things seeing deeper into it it's their intentions that scares you it's not what you see it's the intentions that you discover that scares you it's not what you see it's a lot of things on this planet that you can do and it allow you to see deeper than the normal it's just what it is, and I'm not here to hide nothing. I'm not here to lie about nothing. I'm not here to do that. Because I know each individual, no matter what they did, no matter what road they went on, no matter what you're doing right now as we speak, you're responsible for getting your mind together and getting yourself in order. That's it. I can't do it. They can't do it. She can't and we can't. All we can do is give words of inspiration, words of drive, words of motivation, Words of encouragement. That's it. This video doesn't go as, it, this is as far as it's gonna go. Unless you allow it to go any further. And that's with all of your thoughts and all of your intentions. See, you just always thought that letting it go any further had a lot to do with your steps. The further you go, the more you gotta walk, the more you gotta move, the more you gotta get it. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. You simply submit. You simply give permission. And you keep your mind frame in the right order. In a loving way, in a loving manner. Carry yourself like that. Have intentions for everybody in a good way. Let me ask you something. All of y'all that be trying to manifest. Does it matter if you're in Houston 
Are you viewing Hawaii when you uh, manifest? Manifesting is real. But you got to understand manifesting. You got to understand that everything individuals get don't come from God, God, God. You got to understand that everything in t in individuals have, they didn't get it through good intentions. So that word manifest, you have to watch that. Only you know your intentions and you don't know theirs. You know what they say. Real important. Real important. Why, prophet? Because he took Jesus on the top and let him see it all. You can have all this. But he had to be wise enough to understand his place, his space. He knew all that was his. He knew all that was his. Jesus walked this earth. The name, I'm not getting into all of that. I'm not getting into all of that. I, the story you have of Jesus, the story you have of a man walking on this earth is a true story. It's a true story. And if you want to, you can say right now, that's how you about to start walking. It's about where you at. But see, if you're listening to gender, you're listening to location, you're trying to get the timeline, you're trying to see what else, you're trying to make sure if it's right or if it's wrong. You're trying to see what race it was. You're trying to see all these different things and you missing what his purpose was, what his reason was. Change the color. Shit, change the location. Reason and purpose don't change. Change the gender. Reason and purpose don't change. A lot of things creates judgment in your mind. A lot of things creates opinions. Now spirits say opinions, opinions is normal. Opinions is normal. Opinions is supposed to keep you in a balanced state you know when you're looking at things and you got opinions of things you're not supposed to be sizing them up you're supposed to be sizing you up you better than that or what but it don't have to be said it is just for your recalibration but now when you're judging you saying that's some fucked up shit. But they pointing out stuff to you about yourself. That's not fucked up. And we don't realize and understand that we do this. Because the average individual, you just think you you. So you just think you're being you. Understand ego. Understand it. It's not a word that describes a part of yourself. It is literally you when you're walking on this planet before you change your ways, before you change your reasons and your purposes, before you find spirit that is you. That's why 
you hear about the wrestling. That's why you hear about the wrestling. Let me ask you something, man. God love you beyond love, man. You think God gonna fight with any one of y'all? If he would, he'd have been sneaking y'all. He'd have been sneaking y'all. And y'all can laugh on that. Y'all get that. So wrestling with God is not a real thing. It's not a real thing. It's wrestling with you. It's wrestling with you. The thing that you don't understand is your fight is not with flesh. It's not with flesh. So therefore, now that should always be the first indicator for you to understand and remember. Always see past the flesh. Close your eyes and just listen sometime. That's going to tell you more than what you see. That's going to let you understand more than what you see. What you hear. I just don't think if I, were, if I, if I wasn't about this, I, I just don't think I would be doing this. I, 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 wouldn't, be, I wouldn't waste my time. I, I, I wouldn't be in it. That's why when people tell you things, you have to believe them. That's why. Because you can only be who you are in the moment. You can only be who you are in the moment. That's why some people, they can put a front up like they like you for so long. Just for so long. Your moment, man. Your moment is, is it's important to you. I think we just fail to realize that everybody has intuition. It's not some people. Everybody has it. Everybody got super fucking intuition. Everybody got superhero intuition. Individuals just don't develop it for themselves. Individuals just take it and, yeah, okay, I got it, and figure they're using it. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. You getting things from beyond what you know. But the thing with intuition is this. It's coming in quick. Hey, it's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. Right quick. You got to process it, though. It's just bringing you something. You got to process what it is. That's why some individuals, they can't go with that hunch. Because they're not in a place to process it. They ain't reached a level of processing yet. A level of maturity to process it. You know, some people get it. They get the understanding. But they're not strong enough to, 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 to act on it. So you really don't get it. You really don't process it. You really don't have it right. Because I could give you the answer. You can know the test. You can know it from head to toe. If you answer them wrong, I bet you don't pass it. I guarantee you don't pass it. So know that. You getting the right thought of you know what to do is not you understanding nothing. You acting on it is understanding. You standing on it is understanding. Other than that, it just in it. That's the way of it. And you know that's the way of it. You just didn't feel you had the control like you do. Like profit. Bringing the energy for you to allow yourself to understand that you do. Because you do. You don't have to wake up no day feeling bad. No day suffering. No day in pain. No day missing nobody. No day wanting this. No day feeling down on yourself. No day where you think you in lack. You don't have to wake up feeling like that. No days. When source say take it all from you, take it all from you. Every bit of it. When it say source replace it with better, it's not a joke. It's not a game.
you're going through a test of energies. Everything is energy and there's a reason that you know everything is energy. It's time you start looking at everything like it's a test of energy. It's time for you to start understanding that, wow, that's some fucked up shit over there. I ain't going over there. It's time that you understand that and like stop going over there. Like it's time for you to be mature and understand that when you purposely doing some shit you know you're not supposed to do, thank you, source, that it's just that. It's some fucked up shit you're doing. Why you think the average individual don't hear God? Why you think the average individual don't feel close to God? Why you think another individual will get jealous of the favor God has on an individual? Only because that individual is not making the efforts, not doing what they're supposed to, not listening to the spirit. And one individual is. See, the thing with prophet is this. I don't need nobody to come pick me up and bring me nowhere and introduce me to a fucked up time. I don't need nobody to pick me up and bring me nowhere to nobody that's going to hurt me. I don't need nobody to pick me up and bring me nowhere to where they think somebody going to teach me something. I done did all that bullshit there. Don't fuck with my house if you ain't got your shit in order. Hey, but that shit is so real. It's so real. I didn't understand it like I do now. It's a real thing. And individuals. Man, you got one in, one lost individual, listen to another lost individual. It's just how it be. It's just how it be. But you have to understand the words. Lost is lost, no matter who you are. But people don't know they lost. Individuals don't know they lost. They don't think they lost. They don't know they fools. That's why they got that saying, a fool don't know they a fool. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings. Watch what you're taking your ears. Watch what you give out your mouth, man. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement. Your life, your thoughts, your intentions, the way you view life, other individuals, is all about to change. When it's going to change, I can't tell you. The switch might have been hit. Might go off in the morning. Might go off while you're jogging. I don't know when it's going off. But you could wait on it. You could wait on it. And understand that wait is waiting on spirit. Spirit knocking this time. Spirit knocking this time. It'll be the last time he knocked, though. It'll be the last time he knocked. Because we know better. We just do. For me to go back to being an individual I used to be, doing the things I used to be, acting the way I used to be, I know better. Like, I don't give a damn who tell me I don't. I know better. You can't convince me that I don't. And that's where we be. We be there before we meet spirit, source. We be there. We be knowing we fucking up. Because you got God inside of every cell of your body. You know when you're doing something wrong. That's why God see everything. That's why you got the judge. You got to stand in the front of him. You're doing that now.